Welcome back guys. All right, we're back again. Yet another tutorial. Okay, I'm trying to keep these uh, nice and short and sharp. Less chit chat, more information. That's the goal. So we're gonna quickly run through waypoints, how to put a waypoint in, in the F-18 Hornet so that you can fly to a uh, target area and do what you gotta do. So first things first, we're gonna go through a quick little uh, handy thing. So I'm gonna put the link to this, this little mod for DCS in the description down below for you guys to download. But once you download it and install it, just follow the instructions, it's pretty straightforward. It tells you exactly what to do in the actual uh, install file. Just open up the readme thing and just put it, install it exactly how it says and it's fine. If I can figure it out, you guys can. So once you got it installed, you press left control, left shift, X. And it's gonna bring up this lovely little, it's called DCS scratch pad. Okay, so uh, it's essentially just a notepad in DCS world. So you can uh, use this in the F10 menu, okay? F10 menu, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. So we're gonna go ahead and just put in a waypoint. All right, so we'll go through copying a waypoint. So you don't have to use this thing, you can just use a pen and paper, all right? But it just makes it easy because you can just see it. You don't have to like keep looking back to the F10 map or whatever. So we're gonna use Sochi as our waypoint. So a couple of ways you can get your information for waypoint entry you can click on so if you want to navigate to an airfield if you click on the actual blue airfield icon okay it brings up your aerodrome data and it gives you coordinates here so 43 26 21 north 39 55 27 east okay it gives you altitude as well elevation 98 feet so you're going to need the coordinates and the elevation put your uh your waypoint in and make it accurate there's also up the top left here. So right here it says map and we've got coordinates as well. So you can change these coordinates if it's not on this. So the Hornet, you pretty much want to have it on this setting. So 433102, uh, whatever the hell this one is called. There's different types. So I think it's, yeah, there we go. Left Alt Y will cycle the different type of coordinates. So left Alt Y, you can get uh, decimal. You can get MGRST, which is for the uh, A10. Okay, that's your A10 code putting in if you want to know uh, you can get that and this one so make sure it's on this one this is the easiest way okay and then once you move your mouse around on the actual map you can see the coordinates are actually changing as my mouse moves around so if I want to for example let's uh, go right here on this uh, junction fork in the in the river okay we're gonna go ahead and put these coordinates into our aircraft so click on here so that you're ready to type. So I can type in there whatever I want. Okay, so click in there and then just move your mouse to where you want it to be. Leave the mouse where it is and then I'm just gonna copy it exactly as it is. So north, four, three, two, eight, two, six, enter. And then we got east, four, zero, zero, two, four, zero. And then elevation, two, six, three, feet. All right, press escape to get out of or click out of it so that you can uh, go back to your aircraft. And let's do our waypoint. So we're gonna put that information into our Hornet and it's gonna put a waypoint in for us to fly to. All right, so you've gotta be on your HSI. Okay, so HSI is on the support page. So you can do this on any DDI. Just make sure you click the uh, bottom middle button, go to support and click HSI, all right? And then we're there. So our waypoint, information is right here so waypoint zero will be where you spawned so if you spawn on an airfield waypoint zero is going to be your home waypoint so if you're ever in doubt just make sure you go back to waypoint zero and it will give you the coordinates for exactly where you took off from okay from this point right on the ground so we're going to leave that because i don't like to go over it i would like to just leave waypoint zero as my uh return to base waypoint so we're going to go to waypoint one okay and we're gonna enter the data in now. So once we've got waypoint one selected, you're gonna come up to the top right here and click on data. Okay, you can see our waypoint one's got no information at all. Waypoint zero has got information. So this is where we spawn. Okay, so we're gonna go waypoint one, no data yet. We're gonna go UFC, press that. And then on our UFC right here, we've got position, elevation, grid, and offset. So now we're gonna punch this coordinate in. So we're gonna go position, and the first one's gonna be in northing, so you're gonna go two for north, okay? So make sure you press two for north first. So you're gonna go north, 
and then four, three, two, eight, two, six. And if you fuck it up, all right, just press clear and do it again. North, four, three, two, eight, two, six. Once you've done that, press enter. And then you're going to go the east thing. So six for east, four, zero, zero, two, four, zero. Enter. All right, so that's the waypoint punched in. Then we're going to go elevation, change it to feet. You can do it feet or meters. So we wrote down 263, 263, press enter. And now we have got our waypoint information entered. So to get back to your HSI, okay, you just click on the, let's get rid of that, left control, left shift X. We don't need the notepad anymore, the scratch pad. So press HSI. And now we've got our waypoint data entered. So how can you get your waypoint information on the HUD? All right, so we're gonna go right here, box that. And that is going to put our waypoint information. So we got 132.3 nautical mile to waypoint number one. All right, if we go to waypoint zero, waypoint zero is exactly where we are right now. So it should say zero range because we're exactly on the waypoint. If you zoom in, okay, you can see where our waypoint is right there. That little dot, that's our waypoint that we've entered. So that is right there. So that's looking right at that spot and we can fly there. So that's how you enter in a waypoint. So if you want to make yourself a flight plan, you just write down each single point on the F10 map. So say we wanted to fly to there first, and then you wanted to head up, you know, whatever. You want to go there next, write those coordinates down, write the next coordinates down, blah, 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 and then enter them all in on separate waypoints. So once you've got that waypoint, you go waypoint two, data, UFC, put your new waypoint in, back to HSI, where you can just, you know, just Put your waypoints in that's it and then just to fly the waypoint just make sure you box it and it says waypoint you can also box a waypoint from the sa page okay so you don't have to be in the H hsi once you've got your waypoint in you can be on your situation awareness page and you can use waypoints and fly waypoints you can also designate waypoints as well off your sa page okay which we'll go through later on cool hope that helped guys uh pretty straightforward nothing too crazy about it and yeah, I'll put the link for the scratch pad where you can download it and install it in the comments below. All right, see you on the next one. Peace.